Beloved in our Lord Jesus Christ, I hope by God's grace you are doing great. Today's chapter for a day is Haggai chapter 2. In the seventh month, in the one and twenty day of the month, came the word of the Lord by the prophet Haggai, saying, Speak now of Zerubbabel, the son of Shethel, governor of Judah, and to Joshua, the son of Josedek, the high priest, and to residue the people, saying, Who is left among you that see this house in her first glory? And how do ye see it now? Is it not in your eye in comparison of it as nothing? Yet now be strong, O Zerubbabel, seeth the Lord, and be strong, O Joshua, son of Josedek, the high priest, and be strong. O ye people of the land, saith the Lord, and work, for I am with you, says the Lord of hosts, according to the word of the Lord that I covenanted with you. When ye came out of Egypt, so my spirit remained among you. Fear ye not, for thus says the Lord of hosts, yet once it is a little, but then I will shake the heavens and the earth and the sea. On the dry land, and I will shake all nations, and the desire of all nations shall come, and I will fill this house with glory, says the Lord of hosts. The silver is mine, and the gold is mine, says the Lord of hosts. The glory of this latter house shall be greater than the former, says the Lord of hosts. And in the place will I give peace, says the Lord of hosts. In the four and twenty day of the ninth month, in the second year of Darius came the word of the Lord by Haggai the prophet saying that says the Lord of hosts ask now the priest concerning the law saying if one bear holy flesh in the skirt of his garment and in the skirt touch bread or pottage or wine or oil or any meat shall it be holy the priest answered and said no then said Haggai if one that is unclean by a dead body touch any of these shall be unclean and the priest answered and said it shall be unclean then answered Haggai and said so is this people and so is the nation before me says the Lord and so is every work of their hands and that which they offer there is unclean and now I pray you consider from this day and upward from before a stone was laid upon a temple of the Lord. Since those days were, when one came to an heap of twenty measures, there were but then, when one came to the press fat, for to draw out fifty verses out of the press, there were but twenty. I smote you with blasting and with mildew and with hay and all the labors of your hands yet ye turn not to me says the lord consider now from this day and upward for the four and twenty day of ninth month even from the day that the foundation of the lord's temple was laid consider it is the seed yet in the barn yea as yet the vine and the fig tree and the pomegranate Pomegranate and the olive tree has not brought forth. From this day will I bless you. And again the word of the Lord came to Haggai in a four and twenty day of the month, saying, Speak to Zerubbabel, governor of Judah, saying, I will shake the heavens and earth, and I will overthrow the throne of kingdoms, and I will destroy the strength of the kingdoms of heaven, and I will overthrow the chariot, and those that ride in them, and the horses. And their riders shall come down, every one by the word of his brother. In that day, says the Lord of hosts, will I take thee, O Zerubbabel, my servant, the son of Shetir, saying, The Lord and will make thee as a signet, for I have chosen thee, says the Lord of hosts. Amen.